Hi, in this video we'll talk about how to plot histograms and box plots on your TI-84 calculator. So grab your calculators and we'll work through some of this together. The first thing you want to do is put your data into the calculator. And here's our data, just a simple example set, one, two, three, four, five. And so we want to go to the stat menu and then press edit to put our data into the list and we want to put it into L1, but there's already data in here. We can clear the list by highlighting L1 and pressing clear and enter to clear that L1 list. Remember to press clear and not delete so that you don't delete your whole list. And then we'll do one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five, enter to get those one, two, three, four, five values into the calculator. Then we want to clear a couple of other things first, or make sure that they're cleared so we don't have any problems when we try to graph our set. So there are two ways to graph data. There's the y equals, and then there is right above the y equals, there's the stat plot, which you can get to since it's blue by pressing the blue key and then stat plot. Uh, the green you can get to by pressing the green key and then whatever keys that you need that are green. Uh, so let's go to uh, stat plot and we see that our three plots are all on and we can turn them all off. We'll be using one, but we'll just go ahead and turn them all off with option four and then enter. And then we'll go to the y equals since that's our other place that we can have data to make sure nothing is in here. And if there was something in y2, for instance, we would scroll down to y2 and we would just press clear and that would get rid of everything that's in Y2. But we're good there and so let's go back to stat plot, second stat plot, and let's go to the first plot and turn it on and do a histogram. So it's off right now, but <clears throat> the on key is highlighted and so all we need to do to turn it on is press enter once that key is highlighted. And the same thing with type, we're going to use our cursor keys to highlight the histogram type and once it's highlighted then we can press enter to select that type permanently. And you notice that as I selected it, as I pressed enter, it changed from the options that were down here. Uh, so now I just have X list and frequency and so once you've selected it on your calculator you should also have the X list and the frequency. And then what I want to do is um, make sure that my X list is L1. If it's not, I can just do second and one to make it L1. Make sure my frequency says one. And then I'll go back up because if I left my cursor down here, I might get some sort of error and it wouldn't let me graph. But I'll scroll back up and then I want to do zoom nine. So zoom will zoom my data in. I could press graph but zoom will zoom right into my data and option nine is zoom stats and so that will zoom right into my statistical data and there is my statistical histogram plot right there and now let's do the histogram so we're going to do that the very same way so go back into the stat plot menu and go back into the first plot and leave it on but we want to change it from a histogram now into a box plot and there are actually two box plots. Uh, there's the modified option you see the two little dots that represent outliers out here uh, so this is the box plot that shows the outliers and this is the box plot that wouldn't show us outliers if we had them. Uh, I like the one that shows the outliers so that's the one we'll do this time. Uh, scroll down till you get to type but now instead of scrolling down because that would send us to L1 We'll scroll back up and then scroll to the right until you get to that second row. So if you keep scrolling right, you'll get to the second row. Highlight the modified box plot and press enter. And you see again that as soon as I press enter on a different type, it changes the options that are available. So now I still have X list and frequency, but now I also have this other row that talks about the mark. And I'm good on all of these. My X list is L1, my frequency is 1. And I'm okay with this being my mark because it's, I'm old and it's really hard for me to see and I need old people glasses but I don't wear them so I like 
this bigger mark than this little bitty baby dot. But you may like the baby dot. It doesn't really matter which mark you use. Um, it does matter that you have the right list and the right frequency and the right type selected and that your plot is on. And once we've got all those things, again, zoom 9. And that will show us our box plot. And then there's something else that you may like to do on box plots. You may like to know what these values are. Remember the box plot is essentially using the five number summary. So we've got min, q1, q2, uh, q3, and the maximum. So to find out what these values are, I mean, we could do one of our stats, but we can also just trace. So I click the trace key, and then I scroll to find out which one is. So it says minimum is one. My q1 is one and a half. My median or q2 is three. My Q3 is four and a half, and my maximum value is five. And so that's how we do uh, the histograms and the box plots on the TI-84 calculator.